the idea of a water mill had always appealed to me because when I lived at Staines, there were several mill sites where I used to fish. Within a year or two of being here, we experienced floods up to a metre and a half deep. And it was quite evident that I had no control. There was good reason to examine what was going on. The watercourses hadn't been maintained for years and there were too many fallen trees and too much debris in them. And aggradation, which means the build-up of silt and sediment. Rivers need attention and need looking after. If I'm maintaining a river, I would normally leave one bank alone. I wouldn't clinically do both banks at the same time and do hundreds of metres of river and destroy it all. Every time we get flooded on the television, they are complaining about it. But it turns out that roadside drains are generally only in the range 100 millimetres to 150 millimetres in diameter. So they said that was legislation. They were not allowed to put in larger pipes. It's a ridiculous situation where roadside drains become blocked with aggregates, filth, leaves. If you get two inches of rain or 50 millimetres of rain in a day, it's a vast amount of water and the average roadside drain won't pass those flows. Here, they took away 32 tonnes of silt and rubble from this stream alone. Many of the low-lying fields adjacent to the Thames, they were drained in order to grow crops. The government encouraged farmers to remove hedges and make fields larger. There were 22 farms when I came to Coley. They were all dairy farms, mixed farms, pig, sheep and a little bit of arable. Now there are only two people milking cows, but there are a lot of arable farmers growing crops. We went from a traditional farming system of putting manure and humus back onto the land to the modern system of using chemicals, fertilizers, petroleum, and We've destroyed the ability for the soil to absorb water and release it more slowly. And in the arable fields, they get ploughed, they plough right to the edge of the field. So when the rain comes, it flows into the watercourses and we get a brown custard loss of soil. The 100 mill sites in the Stroud Valley used to have mill ponds attached to them. Some of them had two or three hectares. We had a vast amount of water storage. The lungs of the water system that would normally flood and accommodate the flood water and cleanse it were all done away with. Now they claim we haven't got any water. We have massive amounts of water flowing in our rivers, but heavy rainfall, it all flows into the sea. Nobody thinks of deflecting a little into a storage lake. People should realise that we need to learn to live with nature rather than trying to dictate to nature. And what we need is more traditional rural maintenance. Stop putting concrete over all our gardens. Go in for surface water drainage instead of thinking of surface water as a nuisance value that's got to be got rid of. Is it surprising we're short of water? <laughs>